Hey, it's Becca. I'm delighted that you're here with me because, of course, you're also interested, intrigued, or head over heels for the cannabis plant. And that means you're either a longtime cannabis consumer or a lover of hemp, or you're kind of a newbie to the whole cannabis community. And if that's the case, welcome! So in this video, I'm kind of talking to you newcomers, but that doesn't mean you veteran cannabis out there won't be interested. Anyway, I want to introduce you to a snapshot of what an established cannabis culture looks like. It's best represented by this once a year harvest festival in Northern California, the Emerald Cup. Kind of like the Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz, truly a magical happening. 21,000 people crowded into the county fairgrounds in Santa Rosa last month, December 2015, for this annual event. At the heart of the Emerald Cup is a celebrated competition for the best of the best marijuana from Northern California. They have bragging rights in growing outdoors some of the best cannabis in the U.S. No, in the world. Three counties in Northern California, Humboldt, Mendocino, and Trinity make up this Emerald Triangle. So for about 50 years now, Northern California has built a dynamic community and economy around this plant. And the best place to get a glimpse of how a more mature cannabis community looks is at the Emerald Cup. These folks have been growing cannabis, albeit illegally, in a big way since the 1970s when San Francisco, just south of them, exploded with a hippie culture of peace and love and people discovered that cannabis inspires that mindset. Yes, of course, the stoner culture is alive and well. You can see it on the exhibit floor where the excitement flows around smoking, vaping, eating lots of free samples. I was there. It is an amazing crowd, all ages, all genders, and a lot of people of color. Absolutely, that's, that's good news also. And besides the party that you'd expect, there's so much depth in this event. Hundreds of regular folks crowding into lectures and panel discussions, asking incredibly sophisticated questions about marijuana medicine, legalization, cultivation. I mean, I was jaw dropped. You can tell it's part of the fabric of their lifestyle. They speak of the plant with such reverence and respect. And the locals believe that everyone living in this region is either directly or indirectly reliant on the local marijuana economy. And there's lots of local grassroots businesses. The reason I mention all this is because Northern California, in a lot of ways, is a role model for how a healthy, well-adjusted, cannabis culture can look. That is, as well adjusted as you can be with the law's boot on your neck. But it strikes me those folks in and near the Emerald Triangle have had time to develop their cannabis communities. The rest of the country, well, we're pretty darn new at it. We're feeling our way through the cascade of legalization, dazzled by the green rush fever and its promise of fast fortunes. and people are just beginning to come out of their shells of fear. But greed and fear don't a community make. We have a long way to go toward creating a cohesive cannabis culture across all the communities in this big country of ours. And a key part of that is embracing one another in a spirit of respect and generosity so we can learn and heal together. So let's agree that it's really confidence building that our brothers and sisters on the West Coast can shine some light on how we integrate this remarkable cannabis plant into our lives. I'm Becca Williams. Thanks for joining me. You'll come back again. See you next time.